Hello, this is Jared from Commit Quality. In this video is a extension to one of my previous videos around multi-tabbing and also the page object model. A very good comment was raised on my last video asking, how can we multi-tab using pages we've created as part of our page object model pattern? And I thought this is a really good question and something that really probably should have been covered in the multi-tabbing video, which is why we're making this follow up today. So I want to give you a quick example of how we can do this. Now, if you haven't already seen the original multi-tabbing video, I'll put a link in the description and on the screen now. I would suggest going to watch that so you understand what we're doing and you have a similar setup. I'll also put a link on the screen and in the, in the description to my page object model video because that's what I'm using. However, if you already have pay, a page object model set up, you should be able to follow along just by changing out computer pages and add computer page to something else. So let's jump straight into this. First of all, I actually haven't run this. So I just want to say npx playwright test headed just to make sure that this is working as expected. All it's going to do is go to this page, this computer page, it went quick, add a computer and assert it's there. So that's all done on one tab. How can we achieve the same thing on a second tab? So you might want to create a second tab and do something else on, on, your, on your website, which utilizes your page object model. And that's what I'm going to show you now then. So let's just say second tab. First of all, just like the original multi-tabbing video, we want to create a new tab. So we'll say new tab equals await. We're going to want to use the context. So let's bring that in as part of our parameters, the fixtures that are coming through. So let's say context, and we'll say await context dot new page, which is going to basically create us that new tab. Nothing new from the last video. This is where it's going to change now. So what I want to say is let's set up a const and we'll name, what should we name it? We'll call it tab two, which is the second tab. And so I'll just call it computers page because that's what it's going to do. First of all, I just want to go to this computers page, use the go to method, and then also use the click add new computer method. So I'll say tab two computers page equals new computers page, which all we're doing is creating a new instance of that page object model class. And we want to pass through the page to this so it can work. In this case, the page is this new tab variable. So let's save on that. Uh, it's going to be red because we haven't imported computers page. And of course, it's capital C. So if I do control dot in this, we can say add import, which is come in from my page object model. In your case, this would be whatever your class name is. If you're following along with exactly what I've done for my page object model in the previous videos, then this should work completely fine for you. And then it's a case of just using whatever you want to do. So I could say tab to computers page dot, and you can see we've got the different methods on here. So I'm going to say go to, and then I'm also going to say tab to computers page dot, uh, what was it? Add, click add new computer. So there we are. So what we should see is we can open a second tab. We've created it here. We've created an instance of our computers page class passing through this new tab as the page. And we go into the website and click in the add new computer button. But we still have this part of the test left to do, which is on a separate page. So it's very similar to what we've done here. We won't need to create a new constant of new tab because this is already there. But what we can say now is, uh, let's just say different page. And we can say const, we'll say tab to, and there we'll just name it add computer page. Maybe not the best names. You see where this go in. And now I can just create another new instance of say new add computers page. There we are, add computer page. We'll pass new tab through because remember that's just a page instance. And we can do what we've just done here. So I can just let you copy these methods by saying uh, tab to add computer page dot add new computer and then I'll say what's the next one assert so we'll say tab to add tab to add computer page dot assert I missed that out it's not the add computers page it's the computers page so we want to use this one instead so we can say dot 
a search computer has been added and behind the scenes it's going to add all the same stuff so that should work so let's just run the test and see if it works and then we'll slow it down to make sure we can see it because i think this is going to be extremely fast let's drag it over oh something failed let's have a look what's failed ah of course i've missed out the awaits on everything so we can say await your rookie mistake so of course we need to await the promises so let's clear that and rerun this there we are we've seen the tab it passed but let's just slow it down then tell you what we'll add a pause here so we can just say await new tab dot pause because remember all new tab is is a new page or essentially a new tab but in playwrights terminology it's a new page so we'll put a pause there and then we'll step over just to show it could have added the slow more option but i've already added the debugger now we can see the new tab has been created we've gone to computers page we've then clicked click it and um, add new computer which has taken us here if we step over this you can see it's starting to add everything of commit quality it's clicking create this computer and there we are the computer has been added it's asserting that we'll just continue out and it's passed that's an example of how you can create new tabs which will make use of your page object model classes as always a like and subscribe is appreciated if you have any comments please drop them down below thank you for watching